Hello, I'm Rick Zanotti. And I'm Harold Muliati. And today we've got Adobe on the hot seat. Welcome to Sounding Great, a podcast dedicated to you. Your voice, your recordings, your audio. How you present yourself and how people perceive you. Sounding great because you can. And no, Adobe is not here present on this podcast today. But they are on the hot seat because they keep screwing with us. We use Adobe Audition in-house. We use SoundForge occasionally, but Adobe Audition is our main tool for recording audio. Now, you would think that a tool like Audition or any audio editor for that matter, would always show you your WAV file when you're recording, especially when you have it turned on. Well, that would be a a valid assumption, wouldn't it? Many times with Adobe on Audition, the WAV file just sort of disappears. And you may be recording, but you won't see the WAV file. And then you can play it back, and there it is not. You don't see the WAV file, but you can hear it. Now, for an audio editor and recorder, that's a pathetic bug. I mean, really. Come on, Adobe. You can do better than that. Um, It's just not right. And then other things that happen. Meters go away. They're there. No one turns them off. You can't go into view and turn it off. But we have metering on. But there's no meter sometimes. Of course, there's no wave file either. Now, these are two... Horrible bugs for an audio editor, an audio recorder. Harold, you're running on a Windows machine here. I'm on a Mac. You haven't run into so you've run into some things, but well, not particularly those. So I've run into the uh, the levels not showing. That's that's typical. That you t- oftentimes have to click on the levels meter. A bunch of times, you know, five or six times, and then it finally shows up. And then if it gets out of focus, sometimes it just won't show up again. As far as the waveform disappearing, um, as far as I can tell, that happens mainly on the waveform editor view as opposed to um, in a multi-track project. Right. I actually use quite a bit uh, the multi-track editing mode. And so maybe that's why I haven't seen the waveform disappearing. The other thing is, um, as we said earlier, uh, I use it on a Windows machine. Rick's typically nowadays doing the audition on Mac, and that may be another reason that he's getting the waveform disappearing a lot. Perhaps there's some difference in the version, something uh, to do with how they render the waveform maybe isn't getting called correctly. I don't know. Definitely a weird problem, but not the kind of problem you really want to experience in an audio editor. There are some other bugs too, but those are probably two of the biggest ones we see. I, I literally see that daily. I am on, I am in audition a lot, and I run into that. I don't know, one out of ten times when I'm recording, the wave just goes away. I have to, if it gets really bad, I have to uninstall audition, reinstall it. Then it works okay for a while, but this shouldn't be happening. And and it happens in Premiere too. There are issues in Premiere, and I suspect common code that's being used from one to the other. And, and I don't just do voiceover work. I've, I've also been a programmer. I've been a systems analyst. I have run IT departments. I know computers, and I know software development. Something's not being tested right. So come on, Adobe. You know, you charge enough for these licenses, and, and you're good at what you do, but these are sloppy things, especially in media when you rely on certain visual cues like meters and waveforms to see what you're recording. It's not just what you're hearing in your headsets. It's the levels. Levels are important. Um, Please, you got to fix that. This has been going on for uh, a year, at least, if not longer. And uh, actually longer. You know what? I've had the meters go out literally six, seven years ago. so it's been a while. And they come and go. It got better for a while. Now it's getting worse. I mean, it's getting pretty bad. So I don't know who does your QA. Fire them. They're not doing a good job. They're, they really aren't. Somebody's screwing up on this. Um, you, you guys need to do it. I'm on, I'm on a current Mac with, um, with current software and everything. I, I'm on 
full license of the cloud, as well as I've also got Parallels on that machine, which runs the technical communication suite full license. So it's not an abnormal uh, situation. And my Mac, I have two Macs, one here and one at home. They're both iMacs. They're fully loaded. The, you know, it's about as good as you can get on an iMac. Lots of memory, lots of drives. I've got uh, NAS on them. These should not, this should not be happening. Um, Harold hasn't seen that. He has some of the problems like with disappearing meters, and there are focus issues sometimes where things kind of go away. Uh, we've had some other issues. Uh, I saw one yesterday that was a really good one. My waveform just became a giant waveform, and I could not get to the end of what I was recording. So I couldn't edit that. I had to copy it, and I never was able to edit it. So I had to copy it. I then saved it, exported it as a wave file, and then went to a different machine, Harold's machine, this morning, and he was able to actually edit it because I couldn't get to the end of the file. So now you have, or the end of the waveform. So now you have a waveform that starts here and goes all the way there. I'm seeing half of it. Or another case, I'm seeing this huge waveform, and I hadn't zoomed in, I hadn't done anything. It just expanded. These are really bad bugs. But anyway, it's a rant. But it's a very valid rant. I know I'm not alone in this. Well, and speaking earlier, you were talking about uh, needing to reinstall Audition. There is another on on Windows uh, mm -hmm. Adobe Audition. There is another issue that I've run into uh, when working on some of our projects, where we use it. We use a, Adobe Audition to check audio waveforms for um, videos pretty often because if you've if you've done any video editing you probably know that Adobe Premiere is really, really slow at rendering audio waveforms. Audition is much, much faster and it lets you open up video files. However, um, depending on the type of video file, it tends to be a little unstable. It, it crashes a lot. And what we were finding was um, we, it would work fine. Then it would crash every time we tried to open another video file until we reinstalled the Audition. Then it would work fine again for a little bit. So something, something there was getting, I, I guess, messed up or corrupted, and every time we had to reinstall it. And by the way, he was doing a reinstall daily for about two weeks because we were doing a project where we had to test the audio. The levels were not as accurate in um, Adobe, and they weren't as accurate in another tool we were using called Video Scribe. So we would go into Audition to get a real sampling of what the actual levels were and it would blow up all the time Bugs. and it worked mind you however i it seems a little funny to have to reinstall a program once a day to use it properly that's a feature he doesn't believe me <laughs> anyway that's our rant for the day i, I know a lot of you use audition and uh, let us know if you're having the same problems we are adobe if you are listening, come on, let's get with it. It's time to get some good QA going because this is not acceptable. I'm starting to look at other audio editors again, and you know, I love Audition. We really do. You know, we, we all enjoy it. But come on, these are major bugs for an audio editor. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We really need subscribers, especially on YouTube, so that we can get our name for this. Uh, channel correctly right now they, you have to wait like a month or get in a uh, hundred subscribers we just started the show about a little over a month ago so we would love to have you as a subscriber and we're going to have, have some great interviews coming up and and other things plus product reviews and and gear gear tests so please um give us a hand with this and and also come on adobe and all of you guys watching let us know if you have the same problems, because these are really a pain in the uh, derriere kind of problems. Thank you so much, and we will see you later this week as we interview Lily Wetfu, a wonderful voice talent coming to us from Los Angeles. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone.